do you accept people who have different beliefs to you? And if a person has different beliefs to you, how do you treat them? Well, if I didn't accept people who had a different belief to me, then nobody would have ever come to any seminar. Mm. The reality is that every single person who comes to a seminar has a completely different belief system than I have. And after a while, that, that may change, you know, because they might be convinced through a heap of explanation and logical examination and also personal experience that what I'm showing them is true. And at the start, almost every single person I meet has a completely different belief system than I do. I love meeting people with different belief systems. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, I certainly would not uh, treat badly or get rid of any person with a different belief system. I, in fact, I feel quite strongly that belief systems need to be discussed. And the only way you can discuss them is by having the person present. You can't discuss belief systems without pre pre person being present. The only time when I feel that it's wrong to discuss with anybody a particular belief system is when the person is ridiculing you, making fun of you, or generally being unkind and unloving towards you. Under those circumstances, then I feel it's necessary to cease the conversation. And if it's in one of my seminars, I'll ask the person to remove themselves because I'm providing the seat that they sit on and I'm providing the venue for them to sit in and I'm also providing my time for free for them to listen if they wish to listen, but they don't have to. Mm -hmm. And if they wish to argue with me during a seminar, then I'll ask them to leave because that's not loving. I'm perfectly happy to answer questions. I'm not happy to engage with a person in an, in an argumentative debate or fight about issues when I can feel from the person that all they want to do is push their own perspective or point of view without respecting the fact that they're coming along to my venue. If, if it would be different if I was going along to their venue. If I was going along to their vision, venue, I would listen calmly and quietly and analyse with my own mind and with my own heart the material that was being presented. But I wouldn't attack them or anything because I'd recognise and respect the fact that they're providing the venue and the seat that I'm sitting on, which is a gift of love from them. Mm -hmm. So I just feel quite strongly that there is no need for any negative behaviour, uh, any attacking behaviour in a discussion of belief systems. Often, unfortunately, on this planet, often we get to the point where negative behaviour is very prevalent with the discussion of belief systems, and that is because people don't know how to deal with their emotions. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to deal with somebody disagreeing with them, for example. They don't know how to deal with somebody, who, you know, somebody who's feeling grief or feeling anger or feeling resentment. They don't know how to address all of those particular issues. And I feel that's one of the main problems that we face in religious discussion on the planet. If there was a more free and open religious discussion, there would be more religions on the planet which would have far more uh, collective ideals that they'd recognise their collective ideals, many of them are actually um, agreeing with each other, they would be able to get along with each other better as a result of that. And they'd also be more loving towards each other, which is the main point of any development. The main point of any development is developing to become a better person yourself. And that includes spiritual development. If spiritual development is not helping you be a more loving person, then you need to give it up and find some other form of development. <laughs> Sure, mm. sure.